a big pressure. combos incoming. Yeah. Oh, man. He is going to eat a, a absolute devastating combo. Oh, and here's that devastating combo we were talking about. Oh. Yeah, that's another thing is that, oh, where are you going, bud? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, dude, Gatsby wants it, man. It is actually worth noting that the reason he went for knee is because... Yikes. All right, fine. I, I Do I even... <laughs> do I get to finish a thought, Gatsby? Come on, man. Um, but the reason he went for knee there is because knee is... Even though the sweet spot only lasts for short frame... Um, it's a very long-lasting move, yep. so when Belmont is, you know, tethering to the ledge, it can catch him. Oh, he missed the soft up air into up smash. Yeah. That was that up you were talking about. It can be yeah. a fantastic combo breaker. And, wow, actually managing to air dodge through uh, Gatsby's combo and get a reversal, but for how long, for how much? That was actually amazing. Yeah. It Yeah, and it feels yep. like yeah, good, smart stuff. From Luffy. It's the same thing what you're saying. You you put him in the air, and that that's where you have the the issue. Yeah, I, I why is Captain Falcon up the burst option? <laughs> I don't know, and I don't like it. Um, it is worth noting though that I, I you know I've talked to Belmonts before, and one thing about Belmonts is that Belmonts like it's not necessarily the the first projectile they throw out that you know defines their play style. It's usually the second one. And if you notice from Luffy, he's been throwing out that cross and then goes for aerials. He's using the aerials to try and shut down Captain Falcon's movement. Yeah, I think he wants to force you into a situation with the aerials and then, like, have two projectiles in the bank, you know? Well, it's... Oh, that's what I'm talking about with the knee! It's super oh, late! Oh, my God! so good! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, man. So, so, so we, we, we literally saw exactly... That. So that, that's what he was going for on the first stop, where he goes for late knee, and it doesn't sweet spot. So if he doesn't get the sweet spot, he puts you out, and then it's now, it's now okay, can I stuff your next option? Like, if you jump, you get up aired, and then up air, up B is fine. Like. Yeah, and also, that was a checkmate situation, because I don't think the up B was true, but if he air dodges to try to avoid that up B, what happens to him? He's dead anyway. False is the... Yeah. Although he might have been dead after the up air, but still, he looks cool. I would have I would have air dodged, because I'm not letting you do that to me. <laughs> I would have air dodged and then upbeat to save him. Yeah. That's what I would have done. Because it definitely gets me deserved the two stop right there. I'm telling you, I need to see more of the upbeat. Uh, I don't know, man. That's the one issue with it is that if he starts reading it, it is leaves you oh. right open for a, like a juicy Gatsby punish. See the way he used the platform right there, the adapting, recognizing that Holy Cross was incoming, and instead of shielding it, instead of having to shield right in uh, Luffy's face, he retreats the platform, helps him avoid that projectile's uh, line of fire. I feel like I haven't seen him throw like a single axe. Like, uh, yeah, not one. he hasn't. Like, not one. Yeah, it makes sense. Axe, axe counter is super oh. slow. Yo, this is what I'm here for. I I'm telling you that this matchup is not that bad. Like, it's definitely like, yes, you can get our edge guarded, but there are like roots of success here. I mean, I definitely think you there are, especially because um, I mean, just the Belmonts in general, like they can kill you at 60 consistently oh, if, you get, if you give them the opportunity to. Oh, the reset! Oh, it should have been another up air. He wasn't ready for him to come out that side. Yeah, and I mean that is. Wow, he just sucks you in. I don't think that cross works there. He he, he cross stalls, and I, I think he's getting a hard punish for it. That's the second time he's gotten yeah. punished for it, actually. In game one, I think it was his second stock he died for it. But in that situation, it's tricky. What do you go for? Because you can't air dodge. You no, know? You, you, can, you can snap ledge with the, with the whip without pulling up, so you're not, you're not like, immediately pulling up into his area. You have to sh change up the timing, so you have to make him guess whether to cover your instant snap or to go low to cover your, your like, hang. Yeah. Oh, oh, and he humpies past the ledge so he doesn't have to worry about the holy water. Man, things are looking pretty rough for, um, honestly, I would say Luffy right now. Even though Gatsby's at 115%, even though he's off stage with no jump. Uh, he said, never mind. Yep. Things are no. looking great for Luffy. <laughs> I don't know no, why he, he went past he, the ledge. He needs some, I do not agree with not taking center stage here. Uh... Uh, by the way, quick question. Gatsby has not won an encore, correct? Correct. I think if he manages to beat Luffy here, I do think that he has, uh, he's in contention for taking the whole thing tonight. Yep. He's a lot more of a, a Westchester bracket. 
And if you're Gatsby and you know that you have a chance of taking home the gold, you don't want to get stuffed out by this this freaking Belmont and quarters. Nah, man. Yeah, you, you hear the lion tamer? Those whoops are going. I mean, Gatsby is kind of a lion, actually, though. <laughs> Uh, I think I think Luffy has this. In oh! I would have gone with with uh, Axe there. It's like less committal. I no, I understand the idea with up smash. I've seen Belmont's land up more, and the thing is, up smash would have killed. Him. Yeah. So, or at least I'm a very good chance it would have with the sweet spot on that. Up smash is like technically the sour spot is the entire move except for the sweet spot that just so happens to uh, be at the tip. Oh, the neutral get up got punished. So that, that was that was really good because I think she thinks that the holy water was close enough that if Legend Rings really ran out, he died for it. I mean, he got hit by it, so he'd have to eat another setup on the ledge. Yeah, yeah. I I think that the big difference in that game, the ledge traps, the plans came to fruition. Last time, last game, it felt like Gatsby was just getting off ledge for free or wouldn't even wind up at the ledge. I also will mention that he used up B like 50 billion times that game. It's, it's bad like if you get red on it, but I'm telling you, it's like multiple options in a row into stuffing out their like aggressive option with your up B. And then even so, half the time your cross is still out, so it's not like your up B is actually getting hard punished. Yeah, and it's also just sometimes a reliable out of shield punish. Oh, oh Cross coming back. I thought he was maybe going to get hit back into him. Oh. That still got him? That was actually an insane punish. Oh, I don't think he wanted that dash attack. And oh, man, look at what a single mistake cost you against Gatsby. That holy water putting up that wall prevented the uh, aggression from really taking it all the way. But nonetheless... Ooh, we actually have a very even game right now. Yeah. Not even at all. Are you kidding me? Gatsby down to down to his uh second stock here. Peaches up. Ah, Ca Captain Falcon air drift is so ridiculous. He landed with up B and had enough air drift to not get punished by Belmont. Oh, the B reverse axe might have not put him in the greatest spot. I like that also throughout the cross, but that time from much further away. Yeah. Gatsby not ready to go that deep to punish it. And uh, now Gatsby's actually kind of struggling to get this kill. He needs to get in on uh, a Luffy and somehow convert it into a stock. And just look at the way that he's using these moves. He's, has, he's resorting to Falcon Kick to open him up. Oh, the he's Nair dead. drag down. He actually just got caught dead uh, during headlights because that was not true at all. He, he did the Nair drag down on the platform, through the platform, and up smashed for it. Yeah, back are going to take it though. Yeah, that time, really good. That, that was that deep cross that had worked out for him at the very last time. Did not He's work ready out for it this time, yeah. You can't recover the same way twice against Gatsby. He's going to be ready for it. Oh! Oh, no jump! I think that these platform layout is actually kind of difficult for Gatsby. He's struggling to land. Right as I say that, finally manages to find his way back down to the ground. What can he do with it? A lot of damage for one. Can he extend it all the way into possibly evening things up right now? That was actually so good. Luffy threw the holy water off the platform and then downered into it to, to secure his way off the platform. I don't think he has a jump. Oh no, he does, but the axe takes it. Up B. Oh, up here. Oh man, doing Gatsby. This is so tricky right now. Didn't respect the cross that completely ruined whatever edge guard he was going for. He gets foot at the ledge. Four tilt gonna be and taking it. I told you this is well well within reach. I uh. I'm eating my words right now. I thought uh -huh. that was just going to be a steam No, but no. I'm telling you, I, I, I think that, like, 